Tent cities across L.A. are a never-ending reminder of the homeless crisis in Southern California. Now the Supreme Court may weigh in on the issue. The justices are set to decide whether to take up a case that could determine whether it's legal to sleep on the sidewalk. The bigger issue is... Should there be that many homeless people? Once homeless himself, Chris Smith says city and state leaders need to focus on the bigger picture, housing prices. Honestly, I work three jobs to pay for a one-bedroom apartment. I get it. I've been homeless. I slept on the street for like two years because I just got outpriced. My neighborhood got gentrified. At issue before the Supreme Court is a case from Boise, Idaho. Lawmakers there made it illegal to sleep overnight on the sidewalk. The Ninth Circuit overturned that decision, and now the Supreme Court will listen to arguments on why they should take up the case. L.A. joined other cities in asking for the court to weigh in. Earlier this week, L.A. Mayor Eric Garcetti had pointed words when asked about the issue. As I've said, really solving homelessness is probably going to piss off conservatives and super liberal people. Conservatives because it'll cost money up front to actually build and people say they, they deserve to be out there. That's their own behavior. Just, you know, force them back into something. So if we really want to solve it, it's going to piss off conservatives that we have to probably pay for it. And at some point when we have enough beds, there might be some people who want to protect people's rights to be on the street. I'm not one of those people. Reverend Andy Bales, who runs the Union Rescue Mission downtown, says the focus needs to be on adding more shelters. Where should they go? These are not just people from out of town who came here to enjoy homelessness in our nice weather. More people die of hypothermia in Los Angeles than die in New York City and San Francisco combined. These are our neighbors. These are Angelinos. There was a city council meeting today and we tried to speak with several council members about this issue and about the Supreme Court case. Those council members refused to speak with us. Reporting from Van Nuys, Tom Waite, KCAL 9 News.